Dr. Marilyn Young graduated cum laude with honors from Florida State University in 1964 with a Bachelor of Arts in Speech. Her involvement in the debate squad from 1960 to 1964 developed her passion for public speaking. As a student, Young was a member of the Phi Beta Kappa and Phi Kappa Phi and regularly competed with the debate team in tournaments. After her time at Florida State, Young went on to receive both her master's and PhD in communication from the University of Pittsburgh. In 1972, Young returned to FSU as an assistant professor of communications and director of forensics in debate. In 1975, under her leadership, the FSU debate team qualified for the national debate tournament for the first time. During her tenure, Young hosted and coordinated the international debate series from 1974 to 1983, where FSU went up against various national teams from the Soviet Union, UK, Japan, and New Zealand. She remained debate coach until she stepped down in 1985. In 1991, Young began a long-term project regarding Russian political discourse after attending an argumentation conference in St. Petersburg, Russia. In the same year, she established the International Center for the Advancement of Political Communication and Argumentation at FSU. Young returned to Russia many times between 1991 and 2019. There, she studied the 1996 Russian presidential election, presented workshops in political communication, public speaking, and argumentation in St. Petersburg in 1997 and Nizhny Novgorod in 1998 all of which informed her multitude of published novels on Russian politics, nuclear energy, and security. In 1994, Young became the second woman elected president of the FSU Faculty Senate, where she served two terms and was named president and CEO of Rustech Language Services, Inc., a full-service language company specializing in technical interpreting and translation with an emphasis on nuclear safety and security. She remained in this role until she retired in 2019. A lauded faculty member, she was named Professor Emerita in 2005. Young has been the recipient of the 2012 Vera's Torch Award, 2005 Fred Stanley Service Award, and has served on the FSU Constitution Review Committee, CCI Leadership Board, Association of Retired Faculty, and currently serves on the Faculty Senate Parliament. Young has been instrumental in organizing FSU debate team reunions, including both their 65th and 70th anniversary reunions, which keeps these passionate alumni close to FSU. And in 2014, Young established the Marilyn J. Young Endowment for Intercollegiate Debate, and she is very proud to say she has attended every single FSU football national championship game, wins, and attempts. For her continued service and dedication to Florida State University, we are proud to induct Dr. Marilyn Young into the Circle of Gold. Thank you. I decided today to go back to those roots that uh, they talked about. That was FSU debate, the foundation for everything in my professional life. I believe that debate is unique in the university experience. That close relationship with coaches, traveling to see other universities, studying topics, building and analyzing arguments and cases, evaluating evidence, working with your partner and the other team members. It is a whole educational experience in one activity. In my sophomore year at FSU, we qualified for a national tournament in our coach's hometown of Terre Haute, Indiana. We piled into a car, a state car, four debaters and our coach, you saw a picture of us there, and drove to Terre Haute where we stayed with his family, participated in the tournament, turned around and drove home. The next year was Mr. Hahn's last year at FSU. Mr. Hahn was our coach. We called him Hani. And on our final trip with Mr. Hahn, some bright soul on the team decided to tinker with the car to slow it down and prolong the trip. Well, on the way home, this was 1963, remember, I realized that I had failed to sign out of the dorm before we left Tallahassee, and therefore I had to be back by 11 p.m. 
or I would miss curfew and I'd have to enter through the dreaded night entrance. <laughs> well, that trip ended in Westcott Fountain and in fact, I did miss curfew, but it was worth it. <laughs> After the season, we had a farewell party for Mr. Hahn at Alligator Point after which he had to file a report with the Dean of Women, somebody mentioned her earlier, who wanted to know if the girls at that party had taken off their shoes. <laughs> after grad school, I applied for a vacant deba debate coach position here at FSU. I did not get that job because it turns out they were concerned that hiring a woman would not advance the program, that I would want to get married and have a family and eventually give up debate. They didn't know me very well. <laughs> and so after three years at Cal State LA instead of FSU, I learned that this position had opened up again. And this time I learned it through an inquiry from FSU. I applied and this time I was hired and again, because I was a woman. Karma. <laughs> Arriving back in Tallahassee in 1972, I discovered that the only other woman in the department had retired. And that while the student government had funded the debate program again, we would have only $1,000. I called my colleagues on the circuit and persuaded them to waive our fees and sometimes even find us housing so that we could afford to travel. We figured out the political ropes, got a couple of debaters elected to student government, and gradually increased our budget. <laughs> In 1974, we qualified that first team for the national debate tournament and flew to San Francisco. All those practice rounds, the long hours in the car, talking about cases, opponents, evidence, arguments, and life, created lifelong bonds and experiences that are a foundation for success. I had to be my own travel agent and accountant. I had to learn to pack a trunk with luggage for five plus debate evidence. I learned never to fall asleep while someone else was driving. This experience also prepared me for my academic life after 13 years of coaching the debate team. Our work on the Cold War, the Center to Study the Development of Political Language in Russia, our translation company. Would this have happened if I had not returned to FSU and FSU debate? I don't see how. These things in turn ultimately provided the resources to create the endowment for intercollegiate debate. Debate is one of the most empowering activities any student can engage in. And our goal with this endowment is to secure for future generations of FSU students the benefits and advantages of debate that I enjoyed. Thank you so much for this honor. And thank you to my FSU professors, colleagues, former debaters, some of whom are here, former students, some of whom are here, all of whom accompanied me on this journey, and go Knowles. <laughs>